Okay guys, I am here with McKenna today and we are getting piercings done. I am getting my nipples done. <laughs> okay, wait. Pause. I know that nipple piercings are not everybody's cup of tea. Some people think they look horrible. Some people think they look really trashy. Personally, I think they look really hot. <laughs> and I've actually been wanting them done for a long time now. I've done a ton of research when it comes to getting my nipples done. I actually plan on doing like a full in-depth video on my channel about this. So if you're not subscribed to my Katie Culp channel, the link is in the upper right hand corner. But this video is kind of going to be more of a my experience with everything. This is a play-by-play -play of what's happening. And if nipple piercings are not your thing, that's totally cool. You can skip to this mark in the video to skip ahead of all of this stuff. And at that point, we'll probably get into the rest of the vlog. Though I will not lie that the nipple piercings thing will be a dominating factor in this vlog, pretty sure. So just wanted to throw that out there and let's get back to this. <laughs> And if you want to know what McKenna's getting done, stop on over to her channel. Link in the upper right hand corner. Thanks. It's gonna be it's gonna be wild. Also, this car is like, what are you yeah, people doing? Real. Look at how beautiful all of this is. Oh my gosh. I love these little gold pieces. Those are gorgeous. Look at how pretty these are. I'm filling out the release right now. And I'm terrified. Picking out jewelry right now. So exciting and so cool. And it's such a hard to see. I know, they're so cute. It's happening. I'm like chilling out. Everything's being autoclaved right now and all sanitized. It's gonna it's gonna get really real here really quick. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just laughing at I know, this is so crazy. Oh my gosh, I have I'm no like idea. I'm getting nervous for you, I just don't wanna say it. Yeah. <laughs> is this how they would rest if you didn't have a shirt? Yeah, I would probably just take it all I the way do, down. I would do it the other way. Oh, like this. Uh -huh. this. Oh, okay. that makes sense. We're doing horizontal, right? Yes, horizontal. Who's marking them? You said you did three of these today already? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. It's a busy day. Uh, right now we're just marking them out. Um, you know, hugging it even is the most important thing, which yeah. is kind of why we need to get to that shirt a little bit. Totally. Um, the reason I'm kind of like laying these lines out is just for you when you look at them. Um, I'm focused just on the center part where I'm piercing, but I want you to kind of visualize how those angles are going to be. Cool. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Placement's pretty cute too. If I go too far back from the areola, which means you're really never going to feel properly. Ooh. Too far forward and they're shallow. Okay. Which one do you want to do first? Uh, I hadn't thought about it. Which wow. one do you want to do first? I normally <laughs> start with your right. Okay, that's fine. Let's do it. I'm just going to get lined up. Okay. When I do that, you're going to have a little pinch. You know, kind of breathe through that. Um, when I'm ready to go, I'm gonna let you know, and then you're gonna let me know when you're ready. Okay. Um, we're just gonna focus on our breath. Big deep breath in and out. On our second exhale is when I pierce you. So okay. you're kind of letting me know when you're ready. Okay. Okay. So I'm just gonna get lined up. Okay. I am ready, are you ready? Yes. Big deep breath. Out. And again. All the way in. Oh! Dang! <laughs> hey, I did it! Wow! You did really good. <gasps> Thanks! Oh, there's still one more to go. <laughs> worse than you thought? No, actually. I really? thought it would be worse than that. I kind of. I, it was quick. I don't really remember it now, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. No, it just happened good. a second ago. Oh, that's nice and cold. Yeah. yeah. You already know. <laughs> There's a slight inversion on this side. I think I knew that actually. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna uh, crack up. Oh, well, that's a nice oh, benefit. Oh, whoa. You ready? Okay. And on. You can squeeze, girl. And on. Oh, that one was way worse. The brain. Oh, backwards. dang. Getting everything off and the beads on. Okay, cool. You did so good. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Just enjoy the adrenaline. Yeah, yeah. I'm all <laughs> shaky. It's yeah. great. Yeah, it's over. I know. I'm glad you drove. I know. <sighs> I'm all sweaty. My hands are so sweaty. <laughs> I think it's that a really first good one, I was like, to I totally, like, it was like I forgot about the pain immediately. It was so weird. 
That one hurt though. It actually looks really cool. Does it look cool? <laughs> it looks really cool. Oh, I'm excited to see it. I haven't even looked down yet. I'm yeah. Kind of, like waiting. Yeah, for I'm a excited for you to see. It's like they're numb. Like I can't really feel them. I'm gonna feel them though. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Those look so good. <laughs> Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thanks for sitting so well. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> it's yeah. good. It's so good. Nice. Yeah. Guys, if you need and piercings you. done, you need to come to Ryan. Ryan is the greatest person in the entire world and he does such okay. good work. All of his links are in the description bar below, so definitely check him out right now. He is at Higher Ground Tattoo and he does awesome. We love you, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. I cannot believe I went through with that. <laughs> I thought it was one of those things that I'd be like, oh yeah, I'll do that one day and then not because it's terrifying. But I went through with it and everything is good. Right now, everything feels like it's on fire. A little bit stingy. My left one hurts a little bit more than my right one, but that was the second one he pierced and the second one definitely hurt more than the first <laughs> the first one it was a really weird thing that happened because he pierced it and it, it was like i almost immediately forgot about the pain it hurt pretty bad i remember it hurting but like i can't remember the sensation the exact sensation pretty weird so for now i'm going to take some ibuprofen because i know i'm going to be hurting later and honestly i might park myself right in front of the tv and just sit on my butt all evening and taking it really easy kitty do you hear this cat she's going crazy we also got boba on the way home it's so good i always get taro so good i love it well somebody dumped out all of the clean clothes again it looks like she tried to make a nest and then just gave up and uh went to her actual nest is that what happened it's a new day quick nipple update actually they don't hurt at all right now i slept basically on my back and kind of like three quarters turned because usually i'm a side sleeper so i was really nervous like how am i gonna get through sleeping <laughs> but i actually did really well i just slept on my back kind of and turned a little bit but not too much actually i woke up early on my own it's only seven o'clock right now i didn't even have an alarm to wake me up but for the past two days i've also been waking up at the crack of dawn to go to the gym so i think my body's kind of used to it which is good today's my gym rest day anyway so i timed this really well because i didn't want to work out right after getting them done because that sounds like the most painful thing in the entire world okay somebody needs food right now there you go well you want breakfast you getting up i gotta clean up all the clothes that you knocked over so right now they actually don't hurt at all i'm actually kind of amazed because I thought they'd be a lot more sore. Honestly, right now it just feels like it's a really cold day. Ladies, you know what I'm saying? And so I expect when it's actually cold outside, it's going to be like that sensation times like a million. But right now that's like the only thing that I'm feeling and I'm so stoked about that. No pain, I'll take it. For aftercare, it's really easy. Basically don't touch it, leave it alone. Don't use your hands to like do anything with it, don't twist it, don't like move it back and forth. When I was young and I got my original ears pierced, I got these pierced, these are my first piercings I got when I was 13, I think. I went to Claire's and I got it done with a gun, which PSA, don't ever do that. <laughs> don't get your piercings done with a gun. There's a lot of different reasons. I'll link in the description bar below a, a huge write-up of like all of the different reasons why you shouldn't ever get a piercing done with a gun and you should absolutely go with a needle. The biggest reason being that you can't properly sterilize a gun like you can with a needle and there's a lot less trauma to the area when you use a needle and it's quicker, it's faster to heal and the people who are doing it are properly trained. There's literally a million reasons why. But anyway, when I originally got my lobes done when I was young, they told me like twist it, like move it back and forth. But I know now that is like the complete opposite thing that you're supposed to do. The more you touch it and the more you play with it and the more you move it around, the longer it's going to take to heal. And especially nipple piercings, they, they told me that it's going to take between like six to nine months to like be fully healed. And it'll probably take even longer than that. I've been reading a lot of stories online and people with their experiences and stuff. And most people said like they were feeling 100% healed like after about a year or so. So that's kind of what I'm expecting. And that's actually exactly why I decided to get it done now when Blake isn't here <laughs> because when he's not here, I mean, nobody's gonna be up in there for 
multiple months in a row, so it's like the perfect time to get it done. Noelle, you gotta go potty? Come on, let's go outside. But for now, um, I'm going to make some coffee and a saline solution to soak the area. I'm gonna start editing a video. And I'm heating up a little bit of saline solution. Basically, it's just water with some sea salt to soak my nipples so that way they can heal. Also, um, I mentioned yesterday that obviously I was spending money. Bending over is weird. Uh, when I got them done, I was thinking like, oh man, I should probably have some like comfortable bras to wear around that are clean because I only have a couple bras. I really like the ones I have and I use them constantly and I wash them constantly, but they're getting a little stretched out. I probably just need to go straight up like bra shopping soon. I wasn't sure what kind of level of compression was going to be comfortable. I wasn't sure if like a padded bra would feel more comfortable or a sports bra or something a lot more light. So when I left after I got them done, I was actually just wearing a normal bra. It's a it's a panache bra like by Clio and it's like molded cups and it fits really well and I love that bra to death. By the way, OG subscribers know, but if you guys haven't seen my bra fitting video from years and years and years and years ago when me and Blake were just dating. You should definitely check it out because chances are you're not wearing the right size bra and that will be linked in the upper right hand corner. That's from my old channel. But anyway, I was thinking like, oh, you know what? I should get some of those like Calvin Klein bralettes. The ones that are really thin and obviously are really like popular right now, especially on like Instagram and stuff, but they're not sports bras. They're, they're like bralettes. They're a lot thinner. They don't have like the compression that like sports bras do. So I figured maybe that would be a good idea. It was like a whole ordeal because I was thinking like, I think I've seen them at Costco. I looked online and then they didn't have it at Costco. And so I was like, all right, well, I'm just gonna look on Amazon Prime now and see if they have it. And they did. So I literally got like three of these bralettes on Amazon Prime now and they were delivered to my house like two hours after I ordered them. So I got a gray one, a white one, and I'm actually wearing the black one right now. And this texture, is legit so comfortable after getting your nipples pierced. I slept in this bra last night and huh, it was so comfortable. It didn't feel like I was wearing a bra at all. So like that is awesome. Okay guys, it is time to end the vlog. I hope I didn't scare too many of you away. <laughs> this was something that although I had been thinking about for a really long time, I know that I never really talked about it in the vlog. So it might have been maybe a shock, but um, hopefully not too shocking. And I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog anyway. For today's question of the day, tell me all about your piercings. What do you have done? What was the most painful piercing? What was the easiest piercing? What do you want to get in the future? Anything else, tell me about all the piercings or maybe the coolest experience that you ever had with a piercing. Yeah. Let me know all your piercing stories in the comments down below and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye.